After Conrad checked the ALSEP experiments, they began the geological traverse, during which they would cover about a mile and take samples from six craters. You get a big surprise when you look into this head crater, Al. It's a heck of a lot deeper than it looked, eh? There you go. That's, that's a good rock. Hey, look at the pits in it, too. That's just going to be a good rock, Houston. Okay, Houston, I'm coming up on Bench Crater right now. Boy, there's some big fragments out here. Pictures. What a fantastic sight. Al, look at the bottom of that crater. Hey, here, here's some good rock samples right here. Come on. Why don't we stop here and look at the chart a little bit more closely? Man, does that limb look small back there? Pete, now we show you're 1,200 feet from the limb. Okay. You know what I feel like, Al? What? Yeah. You ever see those pictures of giraffes running in slow motion? <laughs> That's exactly what I feel like. <laughs> Got the decided feeling. I've got to sleep tonight. Then they arrived at Surveyor, their target. While the Surveyor activities were a bonus, they were symbolic. Symbolic of the success of Apollo 12. Yeah, we're uh, just going to move to the area. Now look, you can see which way it came in. See the way the gear pits dug in over there? Dug up there, and you're still sitting there. Okay, Houston, I, uh, I'm jiggling it. The surveyor is firmly planted here. That's no problem. Okay, Al, we're ready to start getting a TV camera. Okay. All right, you see that, that uh, material disintegrate. Hey, that cut the easy. Okay, two more tubes on that TV camera, and that baby's ours. Done. There you go. In the bag, in the bag. Yeah, I got to zip it up. Good show. Be, how about let me cut this scoop off? Sure. Didn't think you were going to leave without a scoop, did you? Okay, let's head for Blocky Crater. So they left Surveyor, and after a stop at the crater called Block, they were back at the lunar module, collecting the solar wind experiment, stowing the rock boxes. It's really ridiculous. I got dust all over the rock box, and I'm trying to blow it off. Bean re-entered the lunar module first. Conrad, using a transfer apparatus similar to a clothesline reel, sent the samples up to him. Then, Conrad, too, left the lunar surface. Okay. Houston, uh, if you can mark me off the lunar surface. Roger, we got that, Pete, at uh, three hours and 50 minutes into the EVA. Okay, up the ladder I come. 